Hey everybody, JY here with another episode of Gamer Dad. Today I'll be doing the final level in the Rise of Rome campaign in Age of Empires Definitive Edition. This level is pretty easy. I'd probably give it a 2 out of 10 as far as difficulty goes. The reason being, this is one of those levels where you're not rushed by the computer and it doesn't really pose any threat to you whatsoever. Um, with one caveat, you have to know where to send your transports because you have a decent sized navy and then a pretty strong ground army but if you try to go hit this wonder you're going to be um, slaughtered by tons of ballista towers and enemy troops and heavy catapults. If you try to land on this island you're also going to be facing a pretty formidable army. So instead what you should be doing is landing over here. Not sure why my troops aren't attacking. Okay, there we go. Alright, so then what you should do is take your troops, go over here. Yellow will come in with its own navy. Use your ballistas to support your ships and protect them. And then meanwhile, take your guys over here. And yeah, just focus fire down the enemy ships. And if you take out Yellow's Navy now, it'll save you a bunch of time later. So just kind of fall back so the enemy ships go into range of your ballistas. Alright, so go over here and then yeah, use your villagers to build the town center right here next to all of these juicy resources. So many good resources. And then you just want to focus on chopping wood. Because you'll need a lot of houses for your troops. And you probably want to save these uh, transports because they'll come in handy later for transporting your army. Keep building houses, and now, um, you can attack the computer or wait for the computer to attack you first. It doesn't really matter that much. If the comp if you wait for the computer to attack you first, uh, it's kind of better because you'll take fewer losses. But again, it doesn't really matter. is here. Okay, looks like the computer is trying to move out now. So that's the first of many units that will be sent to attack. There we go. So once these guys are all destroyed, there won't be any more, there will be much fewer defenders in the enemy base, which is exactly what you want. Although I did lose a ballista, it's no huge deal. Good trade. Who's a ballista? I'll take down all the other enemy defenders. Yeah, just destroy all of this. Destroy the towers. Keep building more houses. Now I can pump out four villagers. We'll just rally them to food for now. Destroy the villager town center. Actually first get all the uh, food gatherers. Alright, and then now you can start uh, building some farms. Or actually what I'll do is I'll build a granary. I'm kind of tempted to almost uh, just relocate here, but nah. 
All right, so we'll build a granary right here. And then we'll start farming. So I'll get these three guys to build farms. One, two, three, four. There we go. Right, and these guys will wipe out all of the enemy unit producing structures in here. Computer or enemy villager. Alright, so now that we have a couple of farms up, continue to pump out villagers. I think I'll even get some uh, fishing boats for now. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and build a fishing boat over here. And the docks will help me um, later because I'll be pumping out naval units from there. Right, just make sure there's no more villagers still around. Oh, there's an evil enemy temple. So we want to destroy that too, although the computer won't really build anything out of it. So yeah, one interesting thing to note, there's also a red uh, base here, but they don't really send over any reinforcements in any of the playthroughs I've done. Or at least if they have, they've been so negligible, I don't even remember it. Alright, so... That's been taken care of. One last check to make sure there's no enemy villagers alive. I'll build three fishing boats here. I'll continue pumping out houses. There we go. Okay. Do some more farming. Lots of farming. Oh, and I forgot to um, let's start getting some gold. Stone isn't as important, but uh, it helps when invading this area to have just a couple of uh, have just a couple of uh, towers to establish your beachhead. All right, so I'm gonna get up to seven wood choppers. and then I guess nine farms. Put me to seven, eight, nine. All right, after that, um, my next guy will build it two more houses, and after that, I'm going to start building um, attacking infrastructure. So, two more houses so I can max out my supply. And then get uh, triremes. Okay. So this guy will build the siege workshop. Okay, this guy will start on stone. I've got two stone gatherers, I guess. Okay, so we'll stick with that for now because I already I don't have very much supply even left. We're just gonna make things tricky. But I do want to build a marketplace. 
I do want to get catapult triremes. And I, then I want to build a government center. So all of this is going to cost a lot of wood. I do want to get catapults. Okay. So while catapults researching, I will just wait a little bit to replenish my resources. Build one catapult trireme for now. And then I want to save up for a government center. I'm going to move out here with my single catapult trireme and start clearing out enemy towers. Oh, just triggered enemy ships. Red actually has a pretty sizable navy, so hopefully they're not sending their entire navy to me. But if they do it single file like this, then it might not be so bad. So we'll see. Okay, I'm going to build one catapult. Alright, so I'm going to try this again. Let's send this catapult trireme out. I'm going to get all the econ upgrades. And then the wood chopping will also give my ships plus one range, which will be helpful. And then I want uh, engineering, except I don't have enough wood. Ah, looks like I triggered some more troops. Good, now I'll get engineering. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to destroy this tower. Alright, so I'm going to slowly focus down this enemy tower. Whoops. Okay, looks like my... Shoot, my engineering range hadn't kicked in yet. Sloppy on my part. Oh, same over here as well. Shoot. Man, that sucked. I'll go ahead and at least destroy this uh, shipyard, though. Okay, my farm's expired and I forgot to turn on automatic reseeding. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, it looks like uh, Red is pretty upset. It's sending a pretty large navy over. send one of these villagers back down to chop wood. Okay, good. Slowly move forward here. Build another storage pit down here. And then focus on chopping wood. There we go. Build another catapult trireme. So I'm going to kind of attack um, this area and this area at the same time. Oh, some ground troops here. Surprising. Alright, 
Let's go ahead and destroy this enemy shipyard. And these enemy catapults. Good. And then, yeah. Destroy this uh, tower. Okay, so managed to get through. Build one priest, get monotheism. Actually, totally forgot about uh, building a priest. I usually use it to convert some enemy, bu enemy buildings to save me on the wood costs. Priest is ready, so I'll send him over here. Alright, and then I'll continue using my catapult triremes to clear stuff out. Oh, and I can send my transports up as well. Okay, looks like my stone ran out. So I'll go ahead and mine some stone over here. Set these guys to defensive stance so they don't go chasing after fishing boats. Alright, and then I'll take my priest. Wait. Oh, there he is. Okay. Take my priest and uh, convert. Oh, whoops. Hmm. Made another mistake. That's okay. Got a couple of priests. And then actually, I can afford juggernauts. So I might as well get them. I'll build another docks over here. Uh oh. There's the hornet's nest of enemy computers. But if they come in single file, it'll be pretty easy to beat them. Yeah, looks like they even got stuck. Yeah, the tech discrepancy between uh, war galleys and triremes and catapult triremes is huge. Which is why all those levels where you don't get that advantage at the start are quite unfair. Alright, in the meantime... Okay, I got all my upgrades. Cool. Sure, there's nothing left. Go in, convert the stables, why not? And at this point, with all these uh, red ships gone, I can just focus on building regular uh, catapult triremes, because I just need to take care of the towers. Turn off fire at will. Actually, yeah, I don't need this archery range. Back and go. Alright, and then this catapult can actually hit the uh, towers on the other side here. So that's what I'll be doing. Clearing these guys out. Clear this guy. Just build a couple juggernauts, a couple catapults. Oh, and one of my transports actually survived, so that's good. So, for keep forgetting what the repair button is. 
Oh, it's N. Okay. I'll go ahead and repair. And yeah, red has a base down here, so you could try to destroy it, but there's really not much point to. Your main purpose here is to destroy all of the enemy uh, towers. Nothing else matters. Yeah, and uh, this shipyard, you don't really need to destroy it. Doesn't matter. And yeah, just uh, get some heavy transports. And make your way up north. Although, yeah, it's probably helpful to destroy the shipyards so your own troops don't bother wasting time up. Time destroying the shipyards. But again, not uh, super critical or anything. Oops. That's not good. Okay, that's good though. Chasing the fishing boats, that's really annoying. Don't think the AI falls for that though. Like the AI won't. Actually, maybe I'll test that in the future to see if that actually works. It could help on some levels if you could distract the enemy ships by running away some fishing boats. Okay, I'm just going to load my villager into this heavy transport. Alright, this part is a little bit slow and tedious. Because the computer just has so many... Um, towers, but your juggernauts will eventually destroy all of them. Oh. I'm gonna destroy some more walls here, I think. We can make some space. Okay, did I get monotheism? Okay, good. Okay, good. So we'll take our guys. We just need two villagers, I think, and then uh, two priests is good. Two catapults is good. Having some horses is good. We don't need the scout. Okay. Alright, so I think we're good now. Now we land our troops and then finish off the computer. So yeah, I like to build a town center, so just in case my villagers die, I can just always replenish them. And 
turn off fire at will for my catapults. And then I just want to build like a couple of towers to be on the safe side. But I thought I turned off automatic fire at will. Okay. Go ahead and build a couple of these. And then build a siege workshop. Yeah, this is just insurance in case my attacking army gets wiped out. Although I'm pretty sure I could just safely destroy the wonder from afar here. Go ahead and build a siege workshop. Go ahead and build some towers. Also build a temple, I think. Yeah. And my computer's attacking. Okay, but enemy computer wasn't really able to do anything. As expected. So yeah, I'm just gonna pound away with uh, my heavy catapults and see what happens. Might stir up a hornet's nest. Yep. So, hornet's nest of bad guys. Let's go ahead and pound away and... Okay, yeah. So, all of this setup was kind of overkill, but... Better safe than sorry. And that's it. That's been another episode of Gamer Dad. So, pretty easy level. Like I said, just destroy red to the west, uh, destroy the yellow outpost nearby, use catapult triremes to clear out the towers along with your own catapults. Red will send some ships, but if you have a couple of triremes and catapult triremes, you'll make short work of them. Destroy all of the towers along the coast to the east, land by yellow's wonder, build a beachhead if you want. Um, but if you have a large enough army, it doesn't matter, and use your two heavy catapults to destroy the enemy wonder, and use your legions to destroy any cavalry that respond. And that's it. That's been another episode of Gamer Dad. Hope you found that entertaining and helpful. Please be sure to like and subscribe so I can get a million subscribers and make an obscene amount of money and retire on a tropical island someday. Thank you.